out my window Many sights to see Hello traders, Gary Wagner here Approximately 10.15 in Honolulu, Hawaii It is the 13th day of July, Wednesday And this is the Daily Report for Gold And what a report we have today On the heels of a potential QE3 announcement. Bernanke today mentioned that he would do what was necessary to add liquidity into the market, hinting at a possible return to quantitative easing. We have gold at a new record high. Currently trading at 1581, it has been as high as 1588. Incredible, incredible showing today. Let's start simply with our three-minute line chart because what we can see there really more than anything else is the kind of move that we have witnessed. And as you can see, we have had this really nice, not a straight linear move. This was that move that we got yesterday, of course, that straight linear move. That took us up to about 74. It came back down and you could see straight traded fairly flat but has just been on a nice upward climb and then kind of topped, of course, here right around 1588. Small about a, amount of profit taking, taking it back down to 1578. And as I say, it's currently trading up near the top, but is trading at a new historical high, 1581.38, current print on the board. You know, we talked about the weekly chart, we've been looking at that for a good couple of weeks, just in terms of, in most particular in terms of the attention that I've been looking at, was the that correction that really took us, and for the first time, call it since February, as we had this upward ascension, it was the first real correction that we had of any sizable means. Now, we had this one-week correction here, but as you can see, it didn't break any kind of a trend line. But you can see right in here, there's, there's no doubt we broke that trend line right in here. The interesting thing is, in terms of a specific two-day pattern, when you look at the weekly charts now, you get a pattern that's called an engulfing bullish, and a very, very strong engulfing bullish at that. It's a two-day pattern in which a up candle, meaning it opens and then closes higher, totally engulfs a down candle, which means it opens and closes lower, this on a weekly basis. Very interesting, it just took off and took off running. You can see that at the end of the week, it was at that line, but hadn't broken through, and we talked about the fact that breaking through that would be a, a very, very strong move, and if you notice that breakthrough happens right at around just below 1550, here's 1540 here, so just in the, in the mid-40s, and then as it broke through, it really sparked. So you have what's called an engulfing, excuse me, a bullish engulfing, uh, confirmation that would be these three candles here so very very strong showing when we look at the candlestick patterns on the longer term charts yet another way we have been charting that that trend line is the daily chart that's this one right here that I've just gone ahead and blown it up I'm going to have to consolidate it a little bit so that traders you get a sense for what we're looking at with this chart and the beautiful thing is that once we pass this new high I've actually got a chart I've got to once we see where the top goes, update it. Because as you can see, we have clearly taken out that new high. That little red candle there is showing us that there is a little bit of profit taking going on. Doesn't surprise me a bit. But the beautiful thing is when we look at this chart, you can see this just beautiful, beautiful straight linear move up. And of course, if we go ahead and extend this trend line, and I'll just line it up. There can be zero doubt, absolutely zero doubt, that we have gone back into what I'll call bullish territory because we're back on track when we consider the data points. They're considerable. They're, we're using a total of four and then the break five data points here. To chart this, you can see that we have absolutely gone above it. These were my different retracement areas for Fibonacci. They might come into play or probably will come into play at a later point but they are not. Taking a look at our monthly chart right now, the one thing that we're noticing is that there's only been a couple of points in time when this market has kind of pegged up above this halfway mark. 
and what I would expect it to do is start to move to the upper ends of this Andrews pitchfork. And this, of course, traders is a very long, long-term chart. I'm looking at probably the mid to lower 1600s, and then we'll probably get some sort of a retracement, and that retracement will take us probably back to right around this handle. As you can see in here, as it comes up, it retraces down. But on a very, very bullish market, you're going to get points in which it really pops above here. The key is, is it going to be able to sustain itself as we saw right in here, or Will it simply come back and rest on the line? That's something that we'll have to look at in the next months to come. And the last chart that I want to look at today, of course, is our Elliott wave count. And there's a couple things of note. The first thing that we want to talk about when we look at this chart is that the fact that we have broken two new highs absolutely positively in terms of our Elliott wave count signals the fact that this entire move, what we're calling our A, B and C was in fact the last part of the corrective phase four. The reason that we can say that is that at this point we have made a new high. Had we gone down and made either a new low, we'd still obviously be in a correction, but the wave count wouldn't work. So we are now in wave five. Wave five should be a complex wave. It should take us through a total of a five count. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we will begin our count sequence. Obviously, my belief is that in terms of the intermediate count within this wave five right here, this is wave one of that. And as I said, my belief is that we're going to get two, three, four, and then a final fifth. We will begin to chart and plot those out in the next days and weeks ahead of us. This has been a historical day. This has been a great day to be long gold, and we are long gold. Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye. Many sights to see And when I look in my window so many different people to be That it's strange So strange